So what's up everybody, Aaron with Simplicy here, and do you have this expansive list of MP3s, old music, CDs, whatever songs, whether it's from an old iPod or just chilling on your computer and you're trying to get everything organized and actually tagged, if that's the case, this is the video going straight into it, how we do it at Simplicity. So first thing we're going to want to do is the steps going through this is we're going to be downloading an application called Tag Scanner, and this guy right here link is gonna be also in our description we're gonna copy that on over um, get ourselves a Google Chrome tab in here so we can go straight into the download um, and here we are on the actual side of it nothing too crazy here um, if this is a software that's gonna really be something game-changing for your life we're gonna be clicking that top link feel free to donate to the the software creator here the developers are definitely putting in the work on version 6.0 is currently what we're going through. We're going to install this real quick. Um, you're going to be here with me every step of the process, so you don't got to be like, Aaron, what the heck happened on that step number 25.4? Nothing, because we don't have a step 25.4. We're going to launch Tag Scanner here. Um, here we go. We got the beautiful little shortcut icon there, too, on top of that. All right, and so our first step is here. We got Tag Scanner open. I'm going to show you the folder of music I have so we're all on the same page that not all of these are tagged. As you can see, we got some some old Wiz Khalifa out here. A lot of these songs are tags, but there's some that are just kind of random um, stuff thrown in into just one section. Um, so, And this is fine because you're going to see how the software handles a huge list of songs that are properly have their metadata injected into them and others that don't. Um, so now that we know that the folder is OG good, in uh, my music folder. We're gonna hit this top left little browse for folder option on Tag Scanner. As we're going through this, hit music, go to the OG Good so folder, select that. And here we are, we got all this good stuff right in here. All the music we were just looking at. Um, some of it, like Tech 9 here, is not titled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this blue um, four square button, it looks like a little two by two square. And then now that everything is selected on here, we're going to go up to this Generate tab. And so this Generate tab on Tag Scanner is going to look up online databases, try and match everything with what is what, and really give you the best output on all of this, uh, all the music descriptions and titles and all that stuff. So we're going to hit Generate. Goes through, cleans some of them up. Sometimes on the stuff, it doesn't really know who the artist could be. Like, it's the mob. Doesn't do anything for it. Um, and that's literally it. Like I said, no 25 steps from here on. All of the music in that folder is actually properly um, put together, um, except for the music and the songs that you're really going to have like a hard time figuring out the artist because it can't confirm that when it looks for the cloud. But otherwise, quick video. I hope it was able to help you. Um, if you get a lot of good stuff out of this channel, we're here to simply just give you the best software experience and save you time. Uh, there's so many options out there on this world and we're actually creating our own website called Simplicy to help you find the best software on your day-to-day -day basis. So things like this that could have taken you maybe an hour plus to go through the metadata and change everything one at a time is just a quick little five minute session away um, and that easy. So I hope everybody has a great day and peace out.